mankind with the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, admonishing them to receive the gift of his spirit, to lift and nurture the total man as we expectantly await the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I command you to be healed, be delivered, be set free. Okay, the big day is over, Christmas Day. Now we've got to prepare to clean up and get ready to, in our minds, focus on what's really important now, and that is the new year that is to come. And it is important that we focus that our goal in life is to live again with God. And in order to do that, our lives have got to reflect the life that He wants us to live. Many of us know that we made mistakes. Hey, you got a chance to do better. God gives us chances so that we are able to not have any reason not to do it right. Get you a list and just compare the things that you want to do better on this year. Along with you, I'm asking God for the strength for some things I need to do better, some things I'm going to do better. So purpose in your mind to do some of those things that's going to make your walk with God a closer one. Let's go into today's message that's already in progress. The um, psalmist, whom we believe at this point to also be David. Uh, the superscription says that it is a psalm of David, and we will not uh, dispute that. But he really talks about two categories of humankind. He talks about the wicked and the righteous. <laughs> now, now, the one thing that you notice is that he opens this psalm without trying to prove to us that there is wickedness and that there are wicked people in the world. He doesn't try to prove it. Uh, he takes for granted that that we all know that there are in this world some wicked people. There are evil doers. There are people who are morally bad, evil, corrupt, malicious. And that Wickedness is seen uh, every day. It is seen in those persons who would lie in wait to bring bodily harm, injury, and even death to innocent persons who are just minding their own business. And the tragedy of it today is that Hardly a week passes when victims of wicked people are not innocent children. Many times when adults uh, found dead and brutally murdered, people will say in their mind, well, yeah, maybe something about this we don't know. But, you know, there had to be something that this person was involved in. But when you take a little innocent child kidnapped from the safety of his own neighborhood and from a playground and sometimes from their own home, what could that child have done that would engage such conduct? And, and, and sometimes when we see the wickedness of evil people, we become fretful. But the psalmist said, don't you worry about what wicked folk do. Don't let them get next to you. And then, and then he flips the coin and saying, don't be envious 
against workers of iniquity. First of all, don't get upset over what they're trying to do to you. And then on the other side, don't see how some of them seemingly are living a trouble-free, prosperous life. Uh, don't look like anything is happening. They, they're just floating along. You having trouble and they are wicked and they are just floating along. They got all the money they need. They, they live in the big house and drive the big car and they get the promotions on the job. And before you know it, you want to become envious or jealous of the way they live. He said, don't be on either side. Don't let them worry you. And then don't want to be like them. Why? He said, because under your heel shortly. In other words, it won't be long. You've been suffering at the hand of the enemy long enough. Mm, it won't be long before God turns things around. It won't be long before you see the desire of your heart realized. Yeah, it won't be long. Just tell five people it won't be long. It won't be long. Go and get your wafer and your grape juice and join us as we commune with the saints. Hallelujah. Oh God, as we come before your presence this morning to partake of this, your broken body and to drink of your shed blood. We want to thank you that all of the promises of God are ours through the sufferings of Jesus Christ. Lord, had it not been for you, we would still be at odds with the Father. But it is through thee, through your broken body and your shed blood, that we are reconciled. Because God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Oh God, as we eat today, as you change the use of this unleavened bread from its common use to its special use, as you transform this, the fruit of the vine from its regular use to its special use today, let us eat of your body and drink of your blood and let us examine ourselves for your word says examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith but for fear we may have missed something we say with the psalmist lord such our hearts hallelujah oh god even as the songwriter said shine the light from heaven upon our souls you find anything that shouldn't be take it out and remove it because we want to be right hallelujah yeah 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 forgive every sin and blot out every transgression in the name of Jesus and we thank you and we thank you and we thank you amen and amen same night in which Jesus was betrayed he took bread and when he was given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you 
Shall we eat of our Lord broken body? unto them that this is the New Testament in my blood. As often as we do eat of the Lord's broken body and drink of his shed blood, we do show forth his death until he comes again. Shall we drink of our Lord's? Do you have your list? Pay attention to it. Internalize the things that you want to do. Ask the Savior to help you. He'll comfort and keep you and guide you and take you where you want to go in Him. I do know you want to order this particular tape lesson. It was a lively service and the saints of God were blessed and it is our prayer that God will continue to bless you and yours bountifully. View the screen so you will know the tape and how you want to order it. And know that we are mindful of all of your messages, of your gifts, and we ask that you continue to bless us as we bless you. Visit us at our web address, beblessed.org. Now, the blessings of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. <laughs>